Hi, Jeff again for the Cast Bullet Association. I want to talk a little bit about fluxing today. The importance of fluxing your alloy is to make sure that impurities are taken out of the pot. And impurities can be anything from bits of foreign material that end up in there, like uh, part of an old Allen wrench, or just general dirt and crud. Traditionally, people have used candle wax, bullet lube, something of that nature. But I've found, by and large, the best thing to use is just some wood shavings, and this is some walnut from a, an old project I had, a stock I made. It's untreated. Of course, you don't want to use treated wood for the same reason we don't like to burn it in our wood stoves, because you've got the nasty chemicals that come off. So just some untreated sawdust, and I just take a small amount, and we drop it in our pot, and give it a bit of a stir. Now we can keep it cigarette lighter around. Sometimes that's always handy. It catches any smoke that's coming off that's combustible. And we take our ladle, stir the alloy, mix all the fluxing material down, scrape the walls, scrape the floor of the pot. We want to loosen up anything that's in there that shouldn't be. And if we're melting down bullets that we've cast previously, there will be the odd gas check will pop up or all sorts of stuff. So we scoot this around and with our ladle pour off any excess lead there, drop out the dross. This pot had already been fairly clean so there's not a great deal to see here but that's the, that's the process, it's that simple and you end up with the most lovely alloy that just flows. How often do you do it? There's great debate, some people cast uh, they might uh, they might do it every 10 bullets, 100 bullets. I think it's a bit of a gut feeling, really. You get to know your alloy, you get to know your ladle. The, when the ladle gets to a point where it starts carrying a lot of alloy, that's when I figure things need a bit of a clean-up. That's all there is to it. There's nothing difficult about fluxing. Just uh, the usual precautions. Make sure you're in a ventilated area, a bit of smoke comes off. As I say, sometimes the old cigarette lighter will catch a bit of the smoke coming off that might be volatile. You can burn that off. But for the most part, very straightforward. Hope that helps.